We recently got back from a six weeks trip to Hawaii and one of the things I really wanted to have when we were there was a paddle board. Imagine the freedom and not having to pick up a rental board and return it when you had enough. Now the most ideal paddle board would of course be a solid one, either fiberglass or a foam board. This would be the easiest to use and the most stable in rough water, which there's a ton of in Hawaii. But going to Hawaii, I also had one thing in mind. If I got one of these paddle boards, it would be really expensive to put it on a plane and a 50-50 chance to get it back in one piece. So I reached out to Gilly Sports to see if they could provide an inflatable paddleboard for our trip, which I also could use to shoot content. A few days later, after we arrived in Hawaii, I received the board from Gilly. I asked for a popping collar, which was easy to see in the turquoise water and which looked awesome. And they sent me this. Love strong, just like a love song, baby. It's haunting me to know what you're thinking. It's like I'm sinking deep underwater. Maybe it's harder, harder, harder for me. Oh, harder for me. I always wanted to have a paddleboard for whenever we travel. It's so easy and convenient to get around and I don't have to check the different rental stores to see if they have any boards available. I can just take my board, inflate it if it's not inflated and then just hit the water and cruise. And it's also really expensive to rent a paddleboard. Oh man, it's like $60 for half a day and $70 for a full day. And staying in Hawaii for six weeks, if I rented a board for the same duration as I used the one that I received from Gilly, that would be around eight to $900. Insane. So, what is a paddleboard and what do I use it for? Should I rent or invest? A paddleboard, SUP or ISUP is basically a huge surfboard. It can also be mistaken for a longboard, but it's actually a stand-up paddleboard which you either stand or sits on while paddling, fishing, doing yoga or flying your drone. If you decide to take your drone though or any other electronic devices out at sea, make sure to grab one of the waterproof bags to keep them safe. The two I've been using for my drones will be linked down in the description below. ISUP, which is the one that I received from Gilly, stands for Inflatable Stand-Up Paddleboard and is basically filled with air to be able to float. To inflate the board, you use the included pump, which also has a PSI indicator with colors to make sure you're within the limit. Now personally, I've been using a PSI of 16 to 17, which I felt gave the best speed and comfort. Once the board is inflated, it's time to put on the fins. In this package, I received three fins, two small and one large, which is really easy to mount and secure. Now before you head out, make sure to fasten the comfortable safety strap as well. There will be an included guide which explains how to secure and use it. And when all of this is done, the only thing left now is to hit the water. I fell in love with your colors, they kinda tell me what I'm thinking. I fell in love with the way we are, and the way we lose it. There's something different about us, and the reason why we stay. Now, you might ask yourself, should I invest in a paddleboard? And is this something I need and will use? I'm going to leave that completely up to you, but I will tell you how this turned our trip to the better. Now, usually I have some cons about the products I receive, but after reflecting back and trying to find some cons, I realized that there's actually no cons. There's only positive things to say about this board. So how and for what did we use it? Every time we went to the beach, I took Philip out for a paddle. He used the paddleboard as a jumping pad and we also paddled from reef to reef so he could see all the colorful fish. Later, we also attempted to go out to the Mukulua Islands, but trying to take a shortcut left us on the other side of the reef, so we headed back. 
On the way back, he saw his first ever turtle which was not captivated and this really topped his day. The wind started to pick up and so did the waves, but the paddleboard was still gliding from wave to wave and we had no issues at all. If something, it really made the trip back faster and more fun. But I couldn't be this close to the Mokes and not being there at least once. So the next day, my father-in-law and I set out for the Mukulua Islands. Now, since he's a professional swimmer, of course he wanted to swim out. And me on the paddleboard as safety, we set our way out to Mukunui, which is the island on the left looking out from Lanikai. Oh, there's a light, and there's a fire coming out of me. Every time I see After a good 30 minutes on the island, we headed back to Lanikai to meet up with the rest. The next couple of days, we also used the paddleboard to get further out when snorkeling. The issues with snorkeling in the shallows is the waves picking up sand and the visibility is just crap. So to be able to paddle far out and just drop in the drink and have better visibility while still maintaining my personal safety made it so much better. So overall, to round it up, it has been the perfect travel companion for me and my family. It made our trip so much better and our beach days got upgraded to first class. I've also been talking to Gilly and they want to offer you a discount on any of their boards. And as of this video was published, you will also get an included e-pump. So with the e-pump, you can just relax watching the board inflate on its own without doing anything. And you can save all your energy for when you are paddling. I hope you enjoyed this review and I hope you enjoy your new board if you decide to pick one up. I sure did and I can't wait for our next trip to Hawaii. Now if you still have some questions about this board and if I didn't answer your question in this video, make sure to drop it down in the comment section below. The links related to this video will also be down in the description. So with that said, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.